Good morning, faithful. We welcome you once again to join us here in prayer. We especially remember a few different ways that we converge today as Orthodox Christians. We certainly remember here in the life of the church that John the Baptist is who we celebrate today, being the person that is next after Christ in the Feast of Theophany. So we remember him certainly. And we also remember for our different brothers and sisters around the Orthodox world that today is the Orthodox Christmas and Nativity for many of us, whether it's in Serbia, Russia, or maybe other countries as well. So truly the way that the Lord connects us is in the Divine Liturgy. So may we all gather together at this moment to celebrate that which our Lord has given us, the gift of life, and all of the beautiful feast as well. May we pray to the Lord. Have low ye son the spotal. Have low ye mani vasilia tu patros, catuio catuio prematos, nin ke ai keist se onas tone onon. Amen. And it ain't to kill they thomen. Υπέρ του Αγίου Οικουτού του και των μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιών τον εν αυτό του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Αγίου Υπέρ των ευσεβών και ορθοδόξων χριστιανών του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Υπέρ του Αρχιεπισκόπου ημών Αλεξίου του Τιμίου Πρεσβυτερίου της εν Χριστώ διακονίας παντός του κλήρου και του λαού του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Αλαϊσό. For our country, for the President and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, necessity, and from the perils of the coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our physicians, scientists, first responders, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the cradles of Israel from Egypt, the lost house of the Lord of Jacob. 
Judea became his sanctuary. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. The sea saw them and fled, the Jordan turned back. Tespes viestis Theotokos, sotes os και με τα πάντων των Αγίων νημονεύσαντες ε αυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωήν ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθα. Ότι σον το κράτος και σου εστίν η βασιλεία και η δυνημής και η δόξα του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Άγιο Πνεύματος Νην και αή και στι αιώνα των αιώνων. I have loved because the Lord shall hear the voice of my supplication. So, Sonny, must he at the old Alleluia. For he inclined his ear to me, and in the days I shall call upon him. Save us, O Son of God, who were baptized by John in the Jordan. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. The pain of death surrounded me, The dangers of Hades found me. So, Sonny, Marcy, and Theo, O any or Dani, Boy, Yohan, O Baptistis, Shalom, Dasi, Alleluia. Doxa Patrike, O Kyrie, O Pemati, Kenin Kyrie. Jesse <laughs> Και αϊπαθένου Μαρίας, αντρέπτος ελαντρωτήσας, σταυρωτήστε Χριστέ ο Θεός, θανάτων θανάτων πατήσας. Ιησόν της Αγίας Ιάδος, συνδοξαζόμενος το Πατρί, και το Άγιο Πνεύματι σώσον ημάς. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, Jordan, the worship.
Trinity was revealed. For when the Father's voice bearing witness did come forth to you, indeed he called you by name his beloved Son. Let us pray, Lord, bless the Father, the Holy Spirit. Spirit in the form Blessed is the entrance of your saints, always now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. You have now appeared, O Christ, God to us, and enlightened creation, glory to you. Sophia, for Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord, God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Save us, O Son of God, who was baptized in the Jordan by John. We, we sing to you, Alleluia. Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, who is resting Amen. among the holy ones, praised by the seraphim of the thrice holy voice, glorified by the truth, and worshiped by every celestial power, you brought all things out of nothing to be created according to his likeness, and adorn him with the gifts of your grace, and give wisdom and understanding to the one who lies. 
and overlook the sinner of the seven 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 of the The righteous man shall be glad in the Lord. Hear my voice, O God. Wisdom. The reign is from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. Let us be attentive. In those days, while Paulus was at Corinth, Paul passed through the upper country and came to Ephesus. There he found some disciples, and he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said, No, we have never heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And he said, Into what then were you baptized? And they said, Into John's baptism. And Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke with tongues, tongues and prophesied. There were about 12 of them in all. And he entered into the synagogue and for three months spoke boldly, arguing and pleading about the kingdom of God. Peace be with you, the reader. Shine in our hearts, O loving Master, who loves mankind, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our mind that we may comprehend the proclamations of your gospels, and still in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having trampled down all carnal desires, we may lead a spiritual life, both doing and th both thinking and doing all things that are pleasing to you, for you, Christ our God, are the illumination of our souls and bodies, until we give glory together with your Father, who is without beginning, in your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, after me comes a man who ranks before me, for he was before me. I myself did not know him, but for this I came baptizing him with water, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John bore witness, I saw the Spirit descending as a dove from heaven, and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, he on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain. This is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. 
and I have seen, and I have borne witness that this is the Son of God. To kerói kino, vlepi o Ioannis ton Ison erchomenon pros afton ke legi. Ideo amnos tu theu, o eron ti na martian tu cosmo. Utos esti periogo ipon, o piso mu erchete anir os embrosthen mu iegonen, o ti protos mu in, kago uk iden afton, ala ine fanerothi to Israel. Δια τούτο ήλθον εγώ εν το είδατε οι βαπτίζον. Και μαρτύρησεν ο Ιωάννης λέγον, ότι τε θέαμε το πνεύμα κατεβαίνον ως η περιστεράν εξ ουρανού και έμεινεν απ' αυτόν. Καγώ ουκ είδεν αυτόν, αλλά ο πέμψας με βαπτίζειν εν είδατε εκείνος μη είπεν. Έφων ο ίδης το πνεύμα κατεβαίνον και μένον επ' αυτόν. Ουτός έστειν ο βαπτιζόν εν πνεύματι Αγίω. Καγώ εόρκα και με μαρτύρικα ότι ουτός έστειν ο Υιός του Θεού. Ειρήνηση, peace be with you who proclaims the gospel. Δόξα συγκύρια, δόξα συγκύρια. Again and countless times we fall before you and we implore you, O good one, who loves mankind, that having regarded our prayer may cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit and grant to us to stand before your altar free of guilt and condemnation. Grant also, O God, those who pray with us progress in life, faith, and spiritual understanding. Grant that they may always worship you with love and awe and partake of your mysteries without the guilt or condemnation and be deemed worthy of your celestial kingdom. That ever guarded by your mind we may prescribe to you glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. No one bound by carnal desires and pleasures is worthy to worship, draw near, or minister to you, the King of glory. For to serve you is great and awesome, even for the heavenly towers. Yet because of your immeasurable and ineffable love for mankind, that you have passively and immediately became man, you as the master of all became our high priest and delivered unto us the sacred service of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. O Lord our God, you alone reign, O Lord, alone over the heavenly, born aloft on the cherubic throne, Lord of the seraphim, King of Israel, the Holy One, and resting among the Holy Ones. I now beseech you, who alone are good, and incline your ear to me. Look down upon me, your sinful and worthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart of a wicked conscience, and enable me by the power of the priesthood to stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. I come before you with my bowed head, and I implore you, turn not your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer these gifts to you, for you are the one who is offered and is, and is offered, the one who is received and distributed. O Christ our God, and to you we give glory with your Father who is without beginning, and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn now lay aside every worldly care. We receive the King of all invisibly escorted by the angelic host. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Have mercy upon your God according to your
Lord, Master. Da Gospod Bog spomjene sve na cucavo svoje, svak da sad i uvek i uvekuva. May the Lord our God remember us all in his kingdom, always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord this for pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask the Lord this for that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world. Let us ask the Lord this that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and in repentance. Let us ask the Lord this and let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful, without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Amen. 
God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Even so, accept from us sinners our supplication and bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to offer to you these gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our own sins and from the failing of your people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your sight that our sacrifice may be well-pleasing to you and that the spirit of your grace may rest upon us and upon these gifts here presented and upon all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. posse, peace be with you all. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Spirit, Trinity, one in essence and in sin. The doors, the doors, in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen kalos, stomen metafovu, proskumen tina yenena foran, en irini prosferin. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your home and tascardias let us lift up our hearts we lift them up to the Lord Eucharistis omento Kyrio let us give thanks unto the Lord it is proper and right, it is proper and it is proper and right to him you to bless you to praise you to give thanks to you and to worship you in every place of your dominion for you O God are ineffable inconceivable invisible incomprehensible existing forever and the same you and your only begotten son and your Holy Spirit you brought us out of nothing into being and when we had fallen away you raised us up again you left nothing undone until you had led us up to heaven heaven and granted us your kingdom which is to come for all these things we thank you and your only begotten son and your holy spirit for all the things we know and do not know for blessings manifest and hidden that have been bestowed upon us we thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands even though thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels stand around you the cherubim seraphim six-winged many-eyed soaring aloft upon their wings Ton epinikion ibnon adon da vonda, ke gragonda, ke legonda, singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Aios, 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 Holy, 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 Holy,
Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And when we hit, when he had come and fulfilled for our sake the plan for salvation, on the night in which he was delivered up, or rather he delivered himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, and he hallowed and broke it, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Lavete, fayete, tutum vestito soma, tui perimon, clomenonis aphesina martion, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you in all and for remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, after partaking of the supper, he took the cup, saying, Piete ex of tu pondes, drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Amen. Remembering therefore the saving commandment, all that has been done for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand, and the second and glor glory is coming again. Cut upon the sky, the upon the your own of your own we offer unto you in all and for all. Amen. Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we beseech, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented. Father, bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy cup. And make that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Father, Amen. bless both holy gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Amen so that we may be for those who partake of them a vigilance of soul, remission of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, boldness before you, not into judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood for those who have reposed in the faith. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in the flesh. I pray that especially, O Lord, for the newly departed Susan. Hispania sacrando e per lo imeni sento su de spini si monte o toku que ai apetenu marias Oh my soul my youth I ever virgin maiden who from curse has redeemed us Among the first, remember Lord our Archbishop Alexios, 
Grant him to serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and land, the faithful who live in them. Remember, O oh Lord, those who travel by land, sea, and air for the sick, the suffering, and captives. And remember those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy and all venerable churches who are mindful of the poor and upon us send forth your rich mercies. And grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify your most honored and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. Ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθείτε το θέλημά σου, ω ουρανών και επί τη γη. Πνάτη μου μόνο των πλούσιων, δώσε μην σύνδρον, και άφησε μην τα φλήματα ημών, ω και μη σαφή με τι αφιλέτε ημών. Και μη συνέγγιση μα ει πειρασμό, αλλά ειρήσε εμά από το πονηρού. Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, o Lord. We give thanks to you, invisible King, who by your boundless power fashioned the universe, and in the multitude of your mercy brought all things from nothing into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, and upon those who have bowed their heads before you, for they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all that which lies ahead according to the need of each. Say it with those who say, O travel with those who travel. Heal the sick physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive. Proskomen Tayati Sais The holy gifts are for the holy The Lamb of God is apportioned and distributed Apportioned yet not divided Every eat yet never consumed Sanctifying those who partake Vigilance of soul to the glory. Jesus, 
Christos Nika. Jesus Christ conquers. Confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I should be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom, it is good for me to cling to God and to place him in the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas. But as a thief, I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Please be seated. Good morning, faithful. It's a treasure to be together once again here today. And it's a great opportunity for us, especially during this time, to get a taste, as we've seen many of you for each of these days here, to get an idea of what it's like to really celebrate often in the life of the church. So, so many times we only have the opportunity to come on a Sunday or something to that effect, but when the festal times are here, we get a, a spirit of grace where we continue to come and receive of that which is sanctified, the gifts that are prepared also for the sanctified water. If you have not received one, please take one on the way out um, and go accordingly. This morning as we celebrate St. John the Baptist, something particularly came to mind. I was thinking about how in our day and life right now, it is so easy to look at one another and to inflict or to judge what we see. I can so easily look at this Christmas tree and inflict what I think upon it, but without knowing about the story of this Christmas tree, how it came to be, I have no idea anything about the reason why it's there, the reason why it has its placement in our sanctuary. I say this because St. John the Baptist was a rugged-looking man. He was in camel hair. His beard and his hair were most likely not kept according to the day's standards. He was living in the wild. He was living off the grid in today's kind of idea. He would eat very small things, locust and honey. Yet, this is the man that was preaching repentance. This is the man that was baptizing in the Jordan. It was the man who looked maybe downtrodden, outcast in society. But if you knew his story, if you knew his purpose, everything of his facade would mean nothing to you. It was that he was a humble man and that he was a servant willing to serve the Master. It says in these Gospels leading up to today that John said, I can baptize with repentance and forgiveness of sins, but just wait because he who will baptize after me will baptize with the Holy Spirit, with the sanctified water. So I think we can learn especially today, especially in the times that we face, we have to believe in Christ 
and believe that somehow Christ is in the person before us. Someone has value. Each person has purpose and has a beautiful meaning. So let us not judge that tattered clothing and that rugged beard and hair or that different facade that we're not familiar with. But let us truly believe that our Lord is God and that He can be present even among those who do not look accordingly. Let us continue to pray to the Lord. We also wish a blessed name day for John's, for Ioan's, for the new calendar and old calendar feast for St. John and for the nativity for all those around the Orthodox world as well. For Ioana, for Joan, I see so many of you. For Yanni, it would be exhaustive to continue to remember the variants of this name. But for sure, it is also a blessing that when we pray the Divine Liturgy, we pray for those who have reposed in the faith and for those who are living in this world. So we especially remember also our dear friend Joanne, who has recently gone to be with the Lord, bearing the name of John as well. So may our good Lord continue to bring us closer to the kingdom to receive of him in fullness. Amen. Μεταφόβου Θεού πίστεως και αγάπης προσέλθετε With the fear of God, with faith and with love draw near Save, O God, your people and bless your inheritance Blessed is our God always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. When you were baptized, O Lord, in the Jordan, the worship of the Trinity was revealed. For when the Father's voice bearing witness did come forth to you, Indeed, he called you by name, his beloved Son, and the Spirit in the form of a dove confirmed the truth of these words. You have now appeared, O Christ, unto us, and in light and creation glory to you. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, life-giving and heavenly mysteries, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And the lavus os on eleison, que the aphilax on imas o theos, ti si chariti. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you are the sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless and sanctify those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them in return by your divine power. And forsake us not who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy to the civil leaders and to the armed forces and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is coming from you, the Father of lights. And to you we give thanksgiving, honor, and worship. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, you the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. You fulfilled the entire plan of salvation. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, always now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Chaos to Elon Hans. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. Dono Makiri Ui Evogi Manon. Apotuni Chaos to Elon Hans. To the Lord. 
the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you by his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, through the intercession of his all-holy, pure, and immaculate mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, whose synaxes we celebrate today, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs of holy martyrs and God-bearing fathers, St. Mark the Evangelist, patron of the church, and of our father among the saints, John Christo, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints that we celebrate. For you are good and you love mankind. The Fontanaium Pateronimon, Kiria Isu Christe Oteos, Eleison Kesos Onimas, through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Holy Trinity guide and protect you on this day and forevermore. Please come to the sides where we will distribute communion from both sides. And again, there's holy water in the back for those who are able to take it. God bless you all. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. of the upright will be blessed. The righteous will be remembered Riches are in his house, and his righteousness endures forever.